Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over how Frozen plays ladder on train, so let's get started. So the first thing he does when he comes out of Z, he initially throws a flash at T-Con, and then he follows it up with a nade. So essentially the flash is used to uh, allow him to cross towards ladder, as it's very typical for Terrace, if they have the best spawn, to come into this corner of T-Con to post up on you as you cross, and the nade is do damage if there's a rush. So here we're going to see him do the same thing, and it's very typical for him to do this at the start of every round. And the one thing to keep in mind is that he'll always keep his smoke and molotov, for the ladder room itself, and this is very important that I'm going to outline later in this video. So here we're going to see that he's going to toss that flash early, and then he's going to wait for his teammate here to do a double nade on T-Con. So there's something else that you can do. And here we're going to see he's going to delay the flash, and instead he's going to nade T-Con first, and then wait for Kerrigan to get up close to his T-Con, for him to throw a flash into it, so that Kerrigan can push into T-Con. Here we're going to see him throw a Molotov at T-Con, and something important that I want to mention here is the pathing that he takes towards ladder. So right here what you're going to notice is that uh, instead of going along the left side here, he's going to go along this right side to be able to cross more uh, towards ladder room. And this is something that you might want to do if you have a bad spawn. So right here again you're going to see the same thing, where he's going to cross over towards his right side. So if you don't want to get uh, exposed to this player who might be posted on T-Con if he's really early, if you have a bad spawn, you can take this route instead, and it kind of just wait for utility from your uh, teammates to then be able to peek towards T-Con and then cross over towards ladder room. So very typically at ladder room, you'll see a lot of players, uh, they hold their crosshair down really low here, as it's fairly common for T's to uh, simply just drop down. So you want to have your crosshair at the spot where they're going to land. And like I mentioned before, having the smoke and Molotov are very important for playing inside ladder. So here, what we're going to see is that Contact is going to throw a double nade at ladder, and his response is to throw a smoke at the bottom of ladder. And what this does is it basically prevents anybody from coming down. So Letney, he actually drops down, and he actually can't see anything. And because of that, he doesn't actually have ladder room, so Frozen is able to kind of come in again. Here we're going to see something similar. So a Molotov drops in at the bottom of ladder, and what he's going to do is he's going to smoke the bottom of ladder at the entrance over there preventing anybody from being able to drop down. And because of the, uh, the timing of these two Molotovs, when this Molotov happens at the entrance, now he can kind of move back in, knowing that nobody's going to peek him uh, dropping in from the entrance. So here in this round, we're going to see that there's multiple T's grouped up uh, towards T-Con, and they're about to do an exec. So what Frozen does is he's going to throw a smoke at the bottom of ladder, making it so that nobody wants to come down ladder, so that he can focus uh, all his attention on T-Con. Here he ends up dying, but you get the idea. Here in this round, we're going to see uh, they're going to drop a nade, and his response is to throw a Molotov at the bottom of ladder, so very similar to the smoke. Here, once again, we're going to see something similar. They're going to drop a Molotov at the bottom, and what he's going to do is kind of wait for this Molotov just a little bit, and then throw his Molotov at the entrance of the ladder, so that now he can kind of focus on T-Con, and now they can't drop in without them stepping into the fire. And because of this, he's able to get this kill on the player T-Con coming out. Here in this round we're going to see him get Molotov off at the actual entrance, so he's actually forced out of ladder room. But his response is to throw a Molotov back at them at the entrance once again, preventing them from being able to drop down. And because of the slight timing of when the Molotovs are thrown, when he actually comes back in, the Molotov is still up, so the player can't be down here. And then he's going to throw a smoke at the bottom, further preventing them from coming down. So here, this is a Molotov that you can use when you're inside ladder room that's going to land just above. This is great for when your teammates are at B are planning to push up, as it will force this player either forward or back. They won't be able to hold that angle just at the entrance. Here we're going to see him do a fake reload. So this is like a great way to bait uh, the terrace into you. So when you do the fake reload, it initiates the sound of you reloading. So it might uh, prompt the terrace to want to fight you. Here we're going to see that Kerrigan's actually playing towards this E-Box area and Frozen's actually inside Ladder Room. And what Kerrigan do is doing here is he's going to throw a smoke at the entrance of Ladder Room, faking as if they don't actually have Ladder Control. And because of this, this actually baits the Terrace to actually take towards Ladder. And Frozen's almost able to take advantage of this as he does a ton of damage to Letney. Well, this is a great way to kind of bait uh, a T into Ladder Room. So here, uh, if you throw a smoke at the bottom of Ladder, you can sometimes one way just over it like this. So if there happens to be a Terrace who wants to peek into ladder room with the smoke up, this is a great one way to use. 
So here in this round, you're gonna see that Adren, he's able, he's gonna be uh, jump spotting the gap to see if anybody's up close at ladder. And what Frozen's doing is he's listening to this. He's listening to when he's jumping. And after he's done jumping, he's gonna uh, put himself into position to take down Adren. This is a great way to counter uh, the player who likes to jump over the gap. You essentially wait for them to finish jump spotting and then you move into position. So here in this round, uh, we're going to see him drop a smoke towards the right, but what I want to highlight is the ways that you can die at ladder room. So here, timing is very important. So uh, this nade forces Frozen to basically turn away, and Emmy he drops down essentially as the, as the nade is dropping down, and because of this, Frozen gets taken down. And very typically, the standard double drop is going to be able to de uh, destroy you at ladder room, and as well, this variation where the player actually moves to the right, is also a great way to take you down at ladder. So it's also very, you have to be very mindful uh, when you play ladder of these of these things. As these are great counters to you playing in ladder room. And the other thing to keep in mind is that these always happen when the Molotov is about to fade. So that's why Frozen will always throw a utility at this bottom part because after the Molotov fades, that's when these players typically do it. So here, if you decide to play towards E-Box, uh, using your utility is very important to kind of isolate and manage your angles. So here we're going to see him Molotov towards ladder to be able to focus on T-Con. So now at this point, if anyone wants to come through the ladder, they're going to have to step through fire. And then we're going to see here he's going to additionally smoke it to further focus on T-Con, so nobody will really want to push through ladder to kill him. Here in this round, he's going to throw a Molotov into ladder room and then push up with Kerrigan towards T-Con. So now they're basically ignoring ladder, knowing that nobody's going to push through to focus on this T-Con push. Here in this round, he's going to throw a Molotov at ladder, and this is very important because the T's are actually doing uh, a side exec where they have smokes. So he wants to offset the timing of when these players come out. So here, as he still has his Molotov up, it prompts the players from T-Con to come out first. So he's going to throw a flash on the left side and then be able to peek towards these players' T-Con. He's able to get that first kill and then he's able to swing up on ladder and he knows that these players are going to be peeking at this uh, particular timing because he just threw a Molotov there so they're going to be offset. So he's dictating the timing of when the terrorists are going to be peeking. Because of this, he's able to manage his angles very well and get these kills. So here in this round, he's playing anti-flash dire looking directly into E-Box. And as he hears these players coming out, He's able to take down this first player, and then he's able to uh, he's going to spot towards ladder, expecting that there's going to be a player here. But because he doesn't see anybody here, he's going to take this opportunity to swing on this left side of E box uh, towards this player T con. So it's very important to kind of mix up the way you peek towards uh, E box. You don't always want to peek on this side to peek towards T con. If you have the opportunity to peek towards this side, you should do it. Then here, once again, he's going to stay uh, into in towards this E box area to try to manage his angles, but he ends up getting traded. So here, if you don't like playing towards ladder room or e-box, you can always play towards bomb train, and this is a great spot to play in. So here we're going to see that the terrorists are going to swing out from ladder room, and playing bomb train is a great spot to play at against pistols. So here we're going to see him spot these players coming out, and then he can throw this small chop behind e-box to force this player to come out to be able to get the kill. And then here in this round, once again, they're on pistols, they're going to be coming out, and he's going to uh, throw a smoke off that wall to be able to peek these players that are coming out ladder room. So here in this round, you're going to see him play towards the back of Bomb Train. And as he sees his exec coming out, he's going to throw a Molotov at ladder to offset their timings of when they come out. And as they come out towards T-Con, he's going to throw a flash towards uh, T-Con. And then uh, they've also thrown Molotovs at camera, so he's going to smoke the Molotovs. And then what he's doing now at this point, he's just waiting for uh, the T's to pop through Sandwich, as there's actually a smoke at Sandwich at this point. So he doesn't want to peek it, he's waiting for that flash to pop. And there's the pop, and then he decides to peek it. This is a great counter to uh, when the terrorists like to do that play. So here in this round, the terrorists have actually thrown this left side smoke, and it's a great way to one way over it. So here we're going to see that the terrorists are creeping up along this left side, so Frozen is going to let them come in to be able to get these two Deagle kills. So here in this round, we're going to see that there's a bit of pressure towards Ivy, and he's playing towards Bomb Train, so what he's going to do is he's going to throw a, a smoke at the entrance of Ladder, to prevent anybody from wanting to come out towards ladder. So now he can focus on fighting towards Ivy. So using your utility is very important. Whenever you're playing towards bomb train, you always want to manage uh, this ladder room as much as possible. So if you're towards bomb train, if you ever wanted to retake towards ladder room, this is a great way to do it. This is a Molotov that you can use for ladder room if you want to retake it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this useful, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more future content. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.